Definitely some good advice here. Uh, I learned this first when I was a kid. We had a Russian coach named Martin Kaikin. He was a Soviet defect and ended up here in St. Louis. And uh, I think this nowadays is called the achiever's mindset. Basically what Martin told my brother and I, uh, he gave us private lessons for quite a while and it was, um, it was, um, very, it was fantastic, obviously, but he did share some great advice, and those are the things that I learned probably the most from. One of the main ones I remember is he, he said, no matter what you do, think wrestling. If you're playing soccer, you know, you, maybe you're in youth soccer or middle school or high school, and you're doing sprints after practice, you want to think, this is going to make me better at wrestling. Um, if you're lifting weights for football, if wrestling is your, you know, if wrestling is your number one sport, you think, this is going to help me get my college scholarship. This is going to help me accomplish my goals. This is going to help make me stronger on the wrestling mat. He said, no matter what you're doing, you always think wrestling. Always think this is going to make me better for wrestling. And um, I thought that was uh, good advice that reflecting back on really helped my brother and I to um, have a little bit of success in wrestling. And I still use that today as, you know, we, we um, are into the coaching and camps and, and whatnot. Uh, I remember one time we were carrying a big heavy wooden ladder for my dad um, and I, we didn't have aluminum ladders back then, at least my dad didn't buy them and uh, this thing was huge and my brother and I were both carrying it and then I just picked it up and started doing military press and you know we were probably about 13 and Tony says what are you doing? And I go Marlon, Marlon told me do whatever you're doing do it for wrestling so I'm getting a workout, and man, we, we got a little 10-minute workout with that ladder, <laughs> and uh, it was kind of fun, you know, looking back, it's probably, uh, was pretty important what he taught us, you know, we go to the creek fishing and stuff, you know, we lived right on top of a hill over a creek, we grew up down there, lighting fires and stuff, I mean, just, you know, white trash behavior, kind of awesome, uh, we caused a lot of hell around down there, I think. But uh, one thing we would do is we'd start doing sprints. You know, after we're done fishing, we'd jump in the creek and do sprints up and down the creek. And if you've never done sprints in a creek, uh, I mean, you're missing a workout because that is that's not easy. So that's good advice. Um, I think that I would like to share is find ways to get better at your sport, and it doesn't have to be in. Uh, 15 million dollar gold's gym uh, franchise you can get better doing just about anything find a way to get better that's the bottom line